What's up guys, I'm back with my full review of the Cheerson CX-10C and this one's gonna be a little bit of a controversial one. I think you're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it. Now if you're gonna be one of the people that loves this one, you're gonna enjoy the fact that it has the camera in it. It's very small and it is very stable in flight. Meaning you can fly it in a lot of different places that you couldn't fly a bigger quad and get some very interesting video in the process. Speaking of the video, it takes 640 by 480 standard definition video, but that's gonna surprise you a little bit because when you hear standard def, you're thinking not that great of quality, but this one actually, the picture in it's not so bad, especially for the compact size of this one. I was actually pleasantly surprised by the quality of the video and for only $27 it's really not a bad buy if you are just getting into this hobby and want to get into aerial video in general. It'll get up high enough to get you some interesting shots, although you're not going to want to fly it too high because it's very susceptible to wind, so you're liable to get blown away if you go up high enough. And the range on it's not super great anyway, so I'd be careful how high you or how far away you're going to fly this one. So the other interesting thing about this one is when you're recording on the camera, you'll get this flashing light right here, so you know when you're recording and that's a handy feature obviously you want to know when you're recording you want to know that the video that you're taking is coming out so with a flashing light obviously it's a plus because then you know your video is recording it's very durable I've had a few crashes and it's not too worse for the wear the only issue that I've had is one of my little landing feet here has broken off but that's not too big an issue the props seem to be fairly durable like I said I crashed it a few times and I've got some marks on the ends of my props here but I haven't broken any of them yet. I did bend one at one point, but it just bent right back into place, no big deal. Now going back to the video, one of the downsides in this one is flight time. If you're gonna continuously run the video camera, you're only gonna get just over a minute's worth of flight out of this one. And obviously that's disappointing, but you can't really expect too much out of a Nano with a camera installed in it. Nanos aren't exactly known for their stellar flight times as it is, and then when you add the weight of a camera to something like that, and the motors in this one aren't all that much bigger, if at all, than the original CX-10. So obviously just a minute's worth of flight time while you're recording video is disappointing, but can't really expect too much more with that. And even when you're not running the camera, you only get just over three minutes. They say you can get about four minutes out of it, but from my experience, you only get just over three minutes. This is the first camera quad that I've ever owned that I have yet to have a corrupted video file with. And the interesting thing about this one is when you get the low battery warning, the camera shuts off automatically and saves your file. That's a big plus in my book. So this one will take photos as well as the video and the quality on the photos is usable if you got good lighting conditions, but in low light conditions, the quality is not so great. People have said they've had some range issues with it. I have not really experienced that, but I haven't really tried to fly it too far away from me. The yaw rate on this one is pretty good for a camera quad. It's not super fast, it's not super slow. It's definitely somewhere in the middle, certainly fast enough to fly this one indoors as well as obviously outdoors. But this one is more meant to be an indoor flyer because you're going to want to fly it outside in very favorable wind conditions because this one can get blown away very easily. But if you put this on high rates, it does okay. It can fight a little bit of wind, but obviously you're not going to want to bring it out on too windy of a day. I was pretty impressed with the flight performance of this one. Remember, it's a camera quad, so you want it to be stable and you want it to fly around smoothly, and it does just that. Even if it is for very short periods of time, but the time in the air it is very stable and it flies around nice. It's actually a joy to fly in my opinion. It does feel a little bit heavy when you're giving it throttle. Obviously that's to be expected, it's carrying a lot of weight. It'll be interesting to see how long the motors last in this one carrying the extra weight. So all in all with the Cheerson CX-10C, I really enjoy this one personally. I can see how a lot of people out there will be turned off by this one because of the short flight times and a little bit of a range issue, but I haven't really experienced that myself. In my opinion, I think you pick this one up because you're gonna be able to do some interesting things with it, get some great video, 
and it's a lot of fun to fly. So that's all I got with the Cheerson CX-10C. If you like what I'm doing here, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up and comment, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.